I want to speak English, but words don't come to my mind. There is a reason why we are not so fluent in English, because it is not our first tongue. I know you are very fluent in your own mother tongue. It's all natural to us because we have been hearing and talking in our mother tongue since our childhood. Speaking English is a bit long process. It is not like that after watching a video for half an hour, I am gonna become a fluent speaker. It is like giving proper consistency with determination that we can use to learn new techniques so that we can become more better speaker of English. First of all, the thing which you need is the confidence that whatever you are speaking is correct. But gaining such confidence is lot easier said than actually done. I mean, how could you convince yourself that you are good at something when you know that you are not? Then I realized that speaking English consists of a group of set of words, a big part of speaking English consists of set of words that is called phrases. Learn phrases, not words. Because speaking, fluently speaking, is like you without hesitation, you can speak every word. But you must know that translating word by word from your mother tongue to English in your head is very hard, is very difficult. That is why you have to learn phrases, a limited set of words. Reading. Reading is one of the best step in learning English, actually speaking English. And reading not just in head, silently in head, but read loud will make you more confidence. Actually, it is like that hearing to yourself. You will actually hear to yourself. And it will give you more confidence and you will come to know that which word you are able to speak with perfection and which word you are not able to speak properly. Nowadays, everybody has internet. So whenever you are find yourself in a situation when where you don't know how to pronounce the word, go Google it and listen to the pronunciation. Make mirror your best friend. Try to practice every speech in front of mirror. In that way, you come to know where you are fumbling and also you can keep a check on your body language. Just take your mirror image as a, another person. Talk to it. Read out all those books to it. Try to give, try to practice every speech in front of him. That way you will see how your personality grow day by day, how your communication skills grow day by day. Listening. It is the most important part of any spoken language. Through listening, you come to know about the basic of the word. How do they pronounce? If you want to improve your spoken English, then first of all, improve your listening habits. Try to listen to every documentary in, in that language. I mean, in English, if you want to learn English, try to listen to every documentaries, interesting documentaries in English, news channels, Try to listen to songs. All these things will make you realize that how you much able to understand those words, those foreign words, which you were not able to uh, understand easily in the earlier speaking. The most important part. Whenever you feel like that you have gained some confidence of making one sentence properly, it's time to speak. Speak to your friends, speak to yourself, but speak. I know it is very difficult for a person who is not so fluent in any language, but you have to do so. So to save the embarrassment, first speak to your friends. Then, still if you don't gain confidence, then start dial a number, your service provider number, call center employees, just talk to them. If they can't see you, 
you won't feel embarrassment and in that way you will see how you will grow from the stage 1 to stage 50 means you will see very fast growth grammar another part of any spoken language i give grammar 10 percent weightage you know why because lots of person do lots of mistake in grammar and lots of person don't know what mistake they have made ah sometimes somebody will find your mistake but it's okay just ask him what's my mistake and they will tell you that this is your mistake you say okay i'll take care of it from next time but do not think that grammar is the very most important part just take it as a yes is as a step in making a progress towards a perfection a great speaker of english i think you will like this video if you like this video then please share like and subscribe my channel